Are we ready? Three, two, one. Good morning, good morning, good morning, people. We're starting the day. We're doing the dishes. You know, that's how I roll. That is how I roll. I get up and I start cleaning disgusting pans. And I, oh, I don't like it. Oh, I hate dirty food in the morning. It's just a little bit depressing, this sky. And also, there's some flipping crazy works going on, which don't make it sound nice either. Literally lunched well. I've got more than just that. I've got chicken and rocket. This is my lunch during the week. We're trying to be healthy. We have the smarty jar, you know? Oh. I do love smarties. I've just decided that I am not gelling my hair today. We're wearing a hat. The hat is on. Right. Let's go. Today is a super, super exciting day. I'm heading into central London to see my audiobook, Generation Next, The Takeover, being recorded. It's by the guy that did the last one. And at the start, there's going to be a bit of a Q&A with me. We're going to have a bit of a chat. And um, yeah. So if you want to buy an audiobook, that's, that's going to be out soon. I'm not sure when, but it's going to be out when the book's going to come out. It's so hot in my apartment today. It's like stressing me out. And this thing is just not working. But I need 24 degrees. Okay, I am very warm-blooded. Warm-blooded? I don't know. But I get warm very, very quickly. I'm actually like... Like, I think I've got sweat, have I got sweat patches? I'm, I'm nearly developing sweat patches. Why won't you work? It says you're on cool, cold. It says you're on cold, but you're not doing anything. Okay? Where are you blowing air out? Because I can't feel anything. Yeah, but it sounds like it's doing something, but I can't feel or see it. See? Yeah, I can definitely see, can't I? I can see, can see the cold air coming out. I filmed a really weird video with Jack the other day. It's actually up on my main channel now. And it's kind of a is it edible type video where we got lots of strange things that aren't really food, but you can actually eat them. And two of the things I didn't use, but I wanted to show you guys. Charcoal capsules, activated charcoal tablets. What do they actually do? But then this one is even more strange. Slippery elm bark. Bloody bark, bark tablets. Hold on a minute, I'm just gonna wake up, you know, have my um, vitamin C tablets and bark tablets. What does bark tablets do? Activated charcoal is a natural absorbent and can be used to, <laughs> to treat fat flatulence. Rapid release capsules allow for faster absorption by the body, quality assured, high quality and rigorously tested. So basically, if you've got flatulence, you need some charcoal tablets. I wonder what Slippery Elm is for. Let's have a search. What does it do? Does it make you turn into a tree? I want to turn into a tree, okay? Let's go on iHerb.com. This person has acid reflux. Okay, so I think the uh, Slippery Elm bark helps. Who got... I don't really know. I don't really want to take it now, to be honest. I have some really sad news. I hate to break it to you guys, but... My potatoes that I made my potato clock from, they, they died, okay? And the potato clock is no more. Look, it's dead. It's dead. There's nothing, there's nothing going on. We need to resuscitate it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Don't you have to like sing the, the Bee Gees song while you're doing that? Like, ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 stay. It's not staying alive. It's bloody dead. But there is another way which I'm gonna try out today, okay? Apparently, if we use a fizzy drink like Coca-Cola and we pour it in these two cups and then stick the things in, it will work. I'm just not sure whether I believe this, but we're gonna go and see if it does. Don't fizz, don't fizz, don't fizz, don't fizz. Okay, right. So let's fill up these two little cups. I swear, if I can bring back my well, it's not even going to be a potato clock anymore. It's going to be a bloody Coca-Cola clock. The fizzy drink clock. Okay, we've got our Coca-Cola like so. Okay, I was forgetting how I use it. So let's put one in here. Oh God, it's fizzing. And then one in here. So we've got the com copper and zinc. Well, that's fizzing a lot. And then we've got our clock. And we need this one to go in there. Oh my god, I swear to god if this works, this is gonna be insane. Oh no, clock, you can't do this, this is the big reveal. 
Okay, oh god, it's like tangled up. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god! No way! No way! Look at that! We're using a- we're making a flipping clockwork from Coca-Cola. Oh my god, I've just like created a bloody clock from Coca-Cola. How insane is that? Okay, gotta grab my coat and let's go. It's really not flipping easy to put a coat on one hand, is it? Hi, uh, for Ollie, yeah? Sweet. I literally just jumped into the Uber and I needed to come into Soho for this recording. And the driver was like, no, sorry, I'm, I'm not going to Soho because it's too busy. But I saw on the map and it was like, it said it was about 20 minutes with like no roadblocks or anything. And he was like, oh, I'll just have to drop you off at the station. I was like, what? So I've had to get the train and now I'm running late. This little alleyway does not look dodgy at all. To be fair, this would actually be pretty good for a photo shoot, but I would not all down here at night. Here we are, look, it's Thomas. The narrator. Hello. Here he is. Welcome to the right, we're, we're we're doing it. I'm I'm having a go as well this time. This is a different studio. It is. This is an improved bigger. one. Oh my god! Look at this script. What if I do it wrong? <laughs> oh, you have a. Is that a Kindle? It's a t like a tablet, Android tablet. Oh, I see. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I feel very professional right now. How do you how do you prepare for like doing voiceovers? Is there any like la 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 la? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe maybe uh, tongue twister. Good tongue twister. Sally yeah. sells seashells on the seashore. Nice. Done it. Killed yeah. it. Hello everyone, this is Ollie White and I'm really, really excited to introduce you to the audio edition of my second novel, Generation Next, The Takeover, narrated by Thomas Judd. It's the sequel to my best-selling debut novel, Generation Next. In The Takeover, Jack and his best friends, Ella, Austin, Ava and Cy, have just finished their A-levels when they're offered the chance of a lifetime. They're going to give their online social media platform, Gen Next, the ultimate relaunch by doing a stage takeover at the Total Festival. Because our audience was barely scraping a hundred. Where is everyone? Sai hissed as we huddled around the stairs leading up to the back of the stage. I thought it would be Ramo. You know what? I think I need a nap. I feel absolutely like knackered and it's like one o'clock. I don't understand why I feel so tired. What is wrong with you, body? If you guys follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, well, it's pretty much everywhere, then I went to the weekend concert, like, the other day, and I have to say, hands down, the best concert I've been to. I've been to a couple now. I've been to Adele, Justin Bieber. I've seen a lot of other performances from, like, the Jingle Well Ball and, and different things like that, and... The whole night was just mad. So Lil Lucy Ver opened, and then Bryson Tiller, and then The Weeknd, and then Drake came on stage as well. And yeah, here is like a little montage of, of kind of that night and what happened, because it was really amazing. And I wasn't vlogging that day, but I was like, I'm just gonna have to film all this because it is insane. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> it's happening. It is happening, ladies and gentlemen. A platform's coming down. The platform. Oh my god. Starboy. Oh, my God. 
That was the weekend. Um, honestly, incredible. I think it's the best concert I've actually ever been to, and a surprise appearance from Drake was just mad. I've never heard so much screams like that before. Anyway, I'm tired, I'm a little bit drunk, and um, I'm ready for bed. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!